Hey guys, Miss Jager here, and welcome back to the front. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things. First of all, we retook Tarantino after the traitorous knave that fell to the, Ro to the Roman Separatist army decided to do that. Not happy with him at all. However, the good news is that we have uh, retaken the settlement, obviously. But another good thing is that I have installed a new mod. Um, this is a simple but hopefully touchwood will do the trick mod uh, to allow us to have um, a we installed a simple loyalty mod which enables um, all of our units or enables a bit of a buffer against loyalty problems because in the previous episode we were suffering from quite a lot of wavering loyalty people and having since installed it it doesn't seem as bad now. I, I be honest with you, I've only done a limited amount of testing, but from the four or five people that were beginning to show signs of lo wavering loyalty, they don't seem to be as bad now. Like, some people are uh, quite high, we've got some people at medium, um, we've got, I think the lowest people, like here we've got someone at two, but um, we're dealing with them. I'm getting one person uh, high, we've got another person on three. Um, but if we have a look at the character details, uh, no, 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 hilarious, we'll have a look at you. Uh, your loyalty is down, but it actually doesn't seem too bad. You know, we've got minus two and minus one, so it's like, it's kind of there, and again, we're, you know, seeing if this can work. I'm not saying it's perfect by any means, but it's, you know, touch wood, it'll do for now, and that's all we're kind of aiming for. Ah, that's a problem. Also, a big thing, a really big thing... Someone took out Thessalonica, like completely raised it and destroyed the rem and almost destroyed the remnants of the um, of fucking uh, Macedonia. Like whoever's left, if they're not even on the registering on that map. You have to go to the political map, and there it is. There's the team theme of Macedonia. Like, wow. They I mean obviously they were pissing off everyone, so you know that's nice. But yeah, that there's there it is. They're they're gone. <laughs> That's it now. Ah, the Huns. Oh, it probably was the Huns. I love you, Huns. Um. Anyway, so what we're doing now is in in the next turn, uh, the Champions of Olympus are going to be. Um, I was going to send them up north to deal with that problem, but seeing this, and this is a golden opportunity because for about a good thirty-two episodes, we've been having this entire province. Well, not we had this province only having two settlements inside. We originally tried going for this settlement, um, but obviously it went to shit. So unfortunately we didn't really get the opportunity. I fucking love you. Anyway, um, so we basically, yeah, so now we have the opportunity of a lifetime to basically nab that, which is fantastic. Obviously we're going to have to take care of these wankers, um, but again, I think if we can just get some agents on. Unfortunately, agent-wise, unable to do anything right now. Um, I am a little bit annoyed at that. But I found one decent-looking mod, which was making everything look absolutely perfect. And then... Um, and then, unfortunately, we... <laughs> and then we discovered it didn't actually work. Like, it works, but it doesn't really work for me. Because it says, hey, you can make the agents... Um, go for, you know, go for passive mode, which was the sort of the least, like, I didn't want it to completely cut agents, I just wanted to downsize the amount of potential that they had. And it basically affected agents from, that would be created from then on. Well, obviously, these agents <laughs> are still here. So, it would take me completely killing them off before they would come back or whatever, and it would just take too much time. So, rather than that, let's just have the agent problem. But the real problem was really the loyalty. Agents are annoying, to say the least, but they're nowhere near as annoying as the eight, the loyalty problem. But with that, hopefully, Touchwood resolved for the time being, we can kind of concentrate on more important endeavors. Um, at the moment, uh, we're kind of almost so somewhat safe in... I suppose I really sh I mean, Vienna is still somewhat unguarded. I mean, we've got a garrison force. It's nowhere near as big. Obviously, it doesn't help that these people are chillaxing around. I mean, it would take them... They'd have to go through... Up the north through the river. And Avaricum, unfortunately, is now suffering from it. Fucking Augusta of Trevorum. I feel so bad for them. I've been trying to destroy that building for... Ever since episode 30. No, 29. 
I think, you know, yeah, 29. We've been trying to disable that. We've been trying to, you know, to destroy that building. So for 29 turns, uh, sorry, for 29 turns, yes. For three to four episodes now, we have been trying to do that. And it's not working. It is a bitch, I will assure you. Um, but no, for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the turn because then these guys can go over there, sacrifice a chunk of their army, but then we can get it back and also a new settlement. So, holy shit. Uh, excuse me. Uh, don't have a cappuccino today. I've elected to get a monster ripper. Relatively uh, healthy, I know. Um, but hey, it's my week off at work. So, fandom trivia for you guys. God bless you. God bless you, Huns. <laughs> I'm going to hate you at some point in the future. I know it. But God bless you. Hello. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I see that the Hun... Well, Dode Dodecadorum. I'm, I know it's not pronounced that, but I'm going to call it that. Dodecadorum. Um, seems kind of weathered, like it's been like it looks like it's been under siege, but it hasn't, has it? Oh my God! Are they leaving? Are they are leaving Augusta Trevorum? Oh my God! Oh my God! They're leaving it alone. What is this? Oh, please do. Oh. I was going to say, could you please knock that army out, Varanians? Oh, I suppose that's a little too much to ask, I guess. And to be honest with you, though, this whole... I mean, to be honest with you, the best news of the last episode, because last episode fucking sucked. Um, excuse me. Um, oh, look, Macedonia. <laughs> they must be going south to try and, like, salvage what's left of their territory. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Fucking Trevoricum. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yay! 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 Fuck you. You know what? Large vibe. Boom. Plus, what was he? Yay! 32%. Let me guess. Not good. Not really. Um... <laughs> This is not good. Ironically, my public order issue is not going to be so much a problem, but now my integrity is going to go to shit, and my dominion's going to shit. Oh, boy. Why can you not just be... Okay, so two... Oh, five. So, traits and household spouse. What is wrong with your spouse? Your... That's why. She keeps giving fucking... I keep getting wives in people who... Wait, that's a good thing. You're fine. Why? Uh, and you could... Yeah, well, I'll assign you that. Because then you will feel... What? Um, yeah, there you go. So you're going to get some higher ranking stuff, which is nice. But yeah, it, and also we've got another family member somewhere. There we go. Hilarious. Um, he's not so loyal. He's still... He's an asshole. But we've adopted him. Um... Obviously, this would affect my other family members, but why are you not? But I can at least now... Oh, he's ranked up as well. Uh, he's misshapen. Oh, that's why. Why is he not loyal? He should be off his... Really? You can't afford that. You need to serve your fucking term. He's 42. He's being a bitch. Um, is that just commander units? No, he's military units for force. Okay. Uh, what about you? Recruitment or I suppose I could get that. No, we'll keep you on defense. Right, okay. So, buildings. Yeah, so, <laughs> buildings constructed. Uh, yes. Very lovely. Okay, so, Colonia in Odoricum. That's good. It's, it's fine. Over here, we've got some fields. And infantry barracks has also been constructed. Lovely. Which means now we can recruit. I'm going to assume over here they still haven't... No, they still haven't done it. <laughs> Fuck me. Seriously, it's just... Oh. Ooh, hello. What's this? Oh, yes, you. You've already done your training. 
So now I'd say that, and I would say, uh... Huh. Was that really? Oh, a true Roman. Um... Oh, good. I need loyalty. Uh... Ah, and the food issue has been resolved in Germania, which is good. Extra morale is also good. I'm liking this. Um... Ravana. I'm kind of annoyed at the fact that my control is just slipping even. Like, I, I want balanced or acceptable. Like, balanced is the best. You know, it's, uh, you get plus loyalty, which is nice. How do we increase my power? Comment section down below. I mean, I'm not probably going to find myself. Oh, boy. It's just, people are bitches. Like, they never want to just, they can never just chill, can they? They, just, they always have to be loyal, 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 loyal. Yes! Get over there. Get in that settlement. Fucking grab it. Yes. Ready for Colonize. Battle. Uh, yes. That's a lot of my army that just went... <laughs> but Thessalonica now is a settlement. And it already has everything. Oh. So, unfortunately, this army is going to be out of commission for a while. So, what I probably will do yes. is I will dispatch my navy from Sparta. Now, Sparta... Doesn't really have a garrison at the moment, which could mean we need to consider upping the amount of... How much food is it producing? 144. You know what? I'm going to up the... Um, I'm going to up the defenses a bit. And... Yeah, I'd say... Well, we're going to get more food and the population happiness. I'd, I'd say we're okay to make that as well. And then you guys can then get into Thessalonica. Ready these aren't these guys can then kind of you, not to say that you wouldn't leave it. Uh, Thessalonica, you are building up something, so it's not like you're not building up anything. And with Thessalonica now under our control, we are in the sh we are in the clear, which is even more awesome. So now after 33 episodes, guys, we have Macedonia. Woo! Yeah! Macedonia, Macedonia. We now have Macedonia uh, under our belt, which is useful. Um, obviously, this does not detract from the fact that we still have to deal with shit in Vienna. But in one turn, Vienna will be more will be adequately defended. Hell, it kind of is now. Um, but obviously, we would like to have a settlement prepared so we can at least have some form of adequate defense. Lugdunum is also going to be just about able to be defended in of itself. So then, once that's happened. Um, I can then dispatch armies further north to deal with Totorum, which looks looks a bit fucked up, to be honest with you. It kind of looks a bit fucked up. The, the squalor is bad. Um, doesn't say whether or not it is buggered up, but... Well, this settlement looks damaged, doesn't it? Oh my god. Has it been attacked recently? It looks like it's been sacked recently. Like, there's loads of rubble around. I have the feeling they've been sacked. Obviously, I can't really leave Augusta Trevoricum because, you know, those wankers. Um, I kind of wish we could bring those guys into the conflict because I know for a fact they'd rip those guys a new one. Actually, you know what? We've seen Roto Magnus a fair amount, but I want to investigate the kind of composition the British Army have. Uh, because... Obviously, there is going to be a point where I might consider invading Britain. I doubt it, but I'd like to at least know. They've got very good armor. Okay, so the next army is combat Tensor Spears with Mercenary, Nordic Axe, and Celtic Band. So this is a mostly... So they do have tier 2 um, units. I Ooh, I can assassinate. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. The gods are cruel. <laughs> maybe. Maybe you suck. Maybe it was meant for you to suck. Anyway, um So Yeah, there's nothing really I can do in this in this particular turn. We've grabbed Thessalonica. Flavius is just being a prick. Unless I can secure the loyalty of them. And you, because Right, who else needs to be have their mouth shut? Secure the loyalty of him. There we go. How do I do it? 
Is it their influence that's the problem? Yeah, he's... Oh, he's traits. Okay, so if we can try and gain loyalty towards them, then at least it will, for the time being... At least they're in the same family now. Right. I think with this mod, it has definitely given me a boost and a little bit of a helping hand. I don't think I've completely resolved the whole uh, loyalty problem, but if I can get it to a point where it's more manageable, I think that's okay. Um, it may mean that my power and control is absolute pants and I'm going to be running on a fucking handicap, but uh, it's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, look, the Defenders of Olympus. No longer, eh? <laughs> You're the defenders of shit now. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Was that your capital? Oh, look, it's mine. And I didn't even have to fight for it. Oh! Oh, you dicks, Garamatia! <laughs> oh, Garamantia. <laughs> it's like, can you... They don't even give them a break in the ocean. Jesus Christ. I love it. I fucking love it. The game, as much as it shits on... I'm liking how the game shits on me just as it shits on them. It's like the Huns are attacking, they're raiding, they're laying siege. They're just making the Eastern Roman Empire as weak as humanly possible. And then I'm just sitting there being at war with the Western Rome. It's like we're working in unison. It's amazing. I'm not even signed up to anything. It's just the Huns are doing what the Huns do best. They're just focusing on the Roman Empire. And I'm just sitting here like... Yeah, you keep doing that. I'll just focus on the Eastern Roman Empire. That's fine. We do whatever. We do whatever. Yeah. Fucking love you. Oh, don't do your whole, I'm going to interfere with your building bullshit. <laughs> Currently, that's what's keeping me uh, from attacking now is all their agent activity. Because obviously, if I move my armies, then my armies move, and then they don't get shit done. <laughs> and then basically, nothing happens. Oh, come on. I will not lie, if there was, an, if there was just a, a button to tone down agent attacks, I wouldn't mind if it was like one or twi once or twice per thingy, but I don't, but well, like, I, I, there was one annoyingly, whilst I was initially looking for the agent thing, I actually found there was a mod that, um, oh hello, uh, I found a mod actually that um, limited the budget for the AI for utilising agents, and that would have been absolutely perfect, except it crashed my game, <laughs> so I'm just like... Oh, oh my god. And I, <laughs> there I am in Thessalonica, just like, hi. Ooh. <gasps> Augusta Dravorum. And he's critical failure. And... Fuck you. Okay, that's good. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, fuck off. Yay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, it was this, that. It's fine. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, Lung Dunham. Lung Dunham. Yes! Lung fucking Dunham. Destroy him. Right, Lug fucking Dunham. Fucking finally. Uh, preach Doom or Discourage Populace. Uh, inspire Populace because I want my people to be happy. Irresolute, authoritarian. Right. Well, now that we finally are able to move my armies about, we can now launch the attack that has been kind of coming for a while. And also, this army needs to get its ass kicked. Right, so, Ares Dread. Move over to Mediolanum. You move down south to attack um, in Massalia. You move over the river from Lugdunum. You now can make a move from Toronum because Avari come... Ah, oh, bollocks. Well, this army oh, technically can hold its own. Um, reconnaissance of this area needs to be achieved because obviously the British army have moved, of course, over there. Uh, you kind of move over to there because I still kind of need to have info. God, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I am a shadow. Um, you need to... Okay, so they are going to receive lots of reinforcements. They've got a garrison and that, and the army. Unless I can achieve a night battle, which I think I can do with the daemons. I don't I think... I think I can do it with the daemons. Um, that's okay, I don't really mind. Sweary! 
Oh good, you don't won't have fucking influence then. And the food resource is oh god damn my nose, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> really hate this feeling. Where every breath you take feels like I'm about to fall um, fall asleep. Yes. Every <laughs> that would be a really annoying problem, wouldn't it? Like every time you breathe you just fall asleep. <laughs> Like, sorry, I suffer from the fall asleep disease. <laughs> You're like, what? Well, oh, thud. <laughs> you just fall down. Um, right, you and you, so I can preach whatever kind of bullshit I can get. Uh, regional rating, yes. Suggesta, Yulanum, Avari come. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Uh, you're on the other side of a river, though, aren't you? Yeah, I can't attack you, can I? No. I mean, I can make a move. In fact, I'm going to move up to about, say, here-ish. Establishing a fort. So, technically speaking, we stop them from pursuing up. Move up from Avari come. Um, this is going to piss them off severely, but I think... Ba-boom! Okay, yeah, sure. We'll take your, we'll take your settlement without... Wow. Um, okay. And yeah, we'll just set shit up. Um... Guardhouse. Might as well. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, sure. What the... Wh whatever you say. We'll just secure the settlement without even bothering. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, you're there. You're there. Right. Let's see what we can do with what we've got. Because I think we can launch a, a night attack on... Um, I think we can launch a night attack. Right. Can you attack them? No. Not quite. But you are going to attack them. Right, Nabo! Battle night, battle night, battle fuck! It wasn't them. That's a lot of bad guys. Regroup and fall back. I'm gonna put Ready you on the orders. river. Make haste, men. I kind of wish I could turn you around, but you're literally on the river point, so I'm gonna keep you there. Um. You keep making your way over there. In fact, I might make you ram. I might make you ram the oars up so you can at least make it to port. Hi. Boom. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll hire another one. I mean, Thessalonica now is going to be all right. Four turns till we get that, which then also um, reduces some upkeep, which is even better. Oh God, we're going to get even less tax rate as well. Fuck me. How do we increase my power? I'd love to know. Right. We need someone to secure loyalty. Can you secure... Can you sec You've got no influence. Really, we need you to assassinate it. You know what? I might just do that. Who has the power? Because he's not really being helpful, is he? 25 on that. You secure the loyalty of... Who did we fail to secure the loyalty of? Uh, what is it? Is it? Uh, no. Regional buildings constructed. Unforeseen complications. It was Brutus, which I think, if we go to the family, do we even have Brutus? The Brutus. No, that's Trenanius. So Brutus. Brutus needs to be bought, in a sense. Unless that's the Brutus. No, that's Trenius. Unless Brutus is now chill, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Right, you move up north, whatever. Okay. Well, you... So he's in secure loyalty of them because then boom. Right, okay. So I'm going to send you guys uh, now because you are more than fine. You guys can start making your way back up to the north. So keep going. Thessalonica now is defended by a naval garrison. It's not as fancy, but once that gets constructed, oh, I can I can build a jetty. Um, yeah, and that'll actually prove really useful, because then we can do whatever. 
God, I'm out of money that we're. <laughs> I'm out of money that we're going to be spending, but. Let's... At least we have that, which is somewhat nice. And then, yeah, we'll just see what we can do. Um, yes, anyway, we can't do anything at the moment. They're going to be doing that. Next turn, though, we can start attacking, which means we can start building, and then hopefully we can start enabling whatever. But, yeah, we're not having any kind of fucking control in the at all, which is really not helping. Because it means we have no... M well, we're, we're going to have popularity, of course, but that obviously it means that we're going to have... Like, the benefits, at least, is that we'll have um, public happiness or whatever. But I'd personally prefer acceptable or balanced. Those two would probably be better, but unfortunately, I suck at this, so... I'm, I'm not a fancy pants mind family judge, uh, stuff. Uh, what am I? A governor. Okay, so let's increase the public order happiness. I did also have a look to see if we could just balance out the political power so it would all be equal, but there doesn't seem to be a mod that allows you just to have equal power. Like, nothing, nothing overpowered, just to have something which just balances it out. So it's like you don't really drop below a certain point. Because, you know, it's hard enough having to fight these fucking wars. Ooh! Did we just lose the, the Kingdom of Macedon? I think we did. To be honest with you, I'm looking forward to... I'm not going to lie. The sooner we can win this war against fucking Gaul, the better. Oh my god! New we You should be honored that I make such an offer in the name of a noble people. Nope. Fuck you. I've already had enough of your bloody wives. Oh my god. Right, Britannia's making a move down south. They're making a move. Lug Dunham is gonna be assaulted fairly soon, that's for sure. Champions assaulting, which is not good. Gaul's making its move towards another town, which is kind of good because it means A, I can see where they're coming from. B, it allows me to send reinforcements up. Oh, god damn you, Rome! Just. Oh, hello. Right, so we've got. How many people on Force March? We've got one big army, which has a nice cluster of big units on Force March, so that's good. We've got... Let's see, my guys are the best that they can be. Versus those dudes, versus those dudes, versus those dudes, versus those dudes. Retreat, I think I'll back off. Retreat. We'll back off a Gathering little bit. Supplies. And if you're going to attack, then those guys might have to go into Force March, which then makes the whole battle situation a little easier on my half. I might need to seriously consider... Oh, can you not... Okay, it looks like he tried to convert him, but I don't think it worked. I don't know what he's done. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Fucking agents. Oh, fuck off. I'm out of bullshit. <laughs> I mean, they're concentrating on him, which I suppose... Oh, don't you dare. Yeah, I figured you'd hide in the mountains. Well, at least we've got one less problem to worry about. To be honest with you, knocking out all of Rome would probably be a good idea. But then again, it would just be nice if once I started going for the Eastern Roman Empire. Hello, Roman separatists. Oh, wow. Right, let's see what happened. Ah. Oh. oh. Ooh. <laughs> Think something happened. Uh, no, let's go for this guy because I think he's in the family. Uh, yes. Hostile agent success. Harass army. Not good. Oh, God. Uh, failure. Oh, God. Oh, a lot of persuade. Oh, God. Who? How can I serve Rome? Have you been persuaded? What have you done? persuasive so he can't do anything and well you're on you're active so and the team of Macedonia has now done control has done oh god
Yeah. And now we have a new leader, which is a, which is this person. Wait, we have two of the same people. Wait, they were what? Was she marrying like two people? The fuck? I might make him the new heir. Well, he probably will get pissed. Yeah, I think he'll probably... I think he probably should become heir. Right. So she... Needs to... And I don't think we have any wavering loyalties anymore. No, we're all good. We just have no power. Uh, gather support for... Uh, yeah, you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, okay. So you, gather support for him. You. Uh... I suppose you should probably have... You're a, you're a governor, so you're fine. I mean, you're a governor too, but, you know, then you'd become that. You should probably try and adopt someone. Uh... We need another commander on the field, really. Spe oh, yeah, you should have a son because you're not going to have any children. Right, okay, so let's have a look see what we can do. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Oh my god. We hunger for battle. Politics, turbulence. In 100 turns. Okay, so we need to do something with this army because obviously our control is getting even worse. Oh boy. They've done nothing, but... Oh, it's a new commander, so... Uh, capital, what's that? Food consumption, extra public order, which is not bad. Um, I think we'll probably have... Uh, that, and then you can have... When we have the money. Oh my god! We are losing so much cash. Come on, you have to... We were glad to listen to your offers. Things are not going well right now. We need to win the war against Gaul. At least eliminate it as a faction. They've only got like four provinces left, but Rome is sucking up to it. I mean, do we have... Okay, do we have the... Right, Rotto Magnus. In order to complete this, we need Rotto Magnus. Augusta Trevoricum would be nice to get other stuff, but we just need Rotto Magnus, and I think we'll be fine. And technically speaking, we can attack that. Um, God, I can't even move towards Massalia. How 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 defended are you? Vienna is adequately defended. Massalia not so very well defended. You're just out of the fucking blink, which is not helpful. Vienna is fine. Lugdunum, not so fine. Lugdunum should probably be considered to be defended because those two those two army units will probably start attacking fairly soon. And but I couldn't really leave Toronum because there's a ruined village here. In about one turn as well. Oh, this is not going well at all. I got reinforcements and they're charging up their line. They're charging. Um, trying to get up there. We're losing more power. I don't understand how it's going down, though. Like, I need to figure out how to increase my control so I can get more popularity or to at least gather whatever. But, you know, that guy's going to become the air suit, isn't he? Yeah, he's already going to get some air. So he's going to become the heir of the whole, uh, the whole thing. So he's going to be fine. I might need to read up about this just so I can figure out how the fuck to... Things Right, Lugnunum needs to have a defender. Oh, fuck. Now, Avaricum is on its own. Lugnunum needs to... Right, Lugnunum... Okay, no. You need to get to Avaricum because there's no one defending Avaricum. Um, and also, there's no garrison in Avaricum because... Well, there is, but there isn't much. And, like, one turn, and then Avaricum is fine. Then we move back to defend Lugnunum. But, like, Lugnunum is beyond a river. So, um... Oh, really... Oh wait, no, he's on the he's on the border. Um, oh god damn it! If we attack that, we made peace with the Romans there and then. That wouldn't be a bad idea because we grab Rotto Magnus, which would be. 
a good victory because then that way we can secure. Mm. It's just who would watch Toratunum? Which technically you could, but then no one would be watching Avaricum. And Avaricum would then be like if uh, Rome decided to attack. Massalia obviously has a garrison and it's walled, so it doesn't really need to worry too much. Technically, now Narbo is safe. It's got a semi-large garrison with a semi-large defense force, and it has a naval garrison as well, giving it... Um, ah, it's got a military wharf, which means it's got some catapult units. But this does have large onages. You know what? Let's attack. We take this settlement for Rome! We do. I think it Besieging says we're roughly equal in balance, but I, I would beg to differ. And I think what we're going to do is very stupid, but if it works, I think it could turn the tide. Which is, we'll attack Rotto Magnus as well as um, Narbo. Because this settlement is not very well defended either. So we're going to go for Narbo first, because then that unifies this whole province. Right, so... We are gonna have to, we'll deal with the worst one first, because by dealing with that, we'll grab that and then... Ugh. By grabbing another settlement of Rome, we're gonna then be able to... To deal out a pretty devastating blow. Massalia in the south should be fine. It's the one in the north I'm worried about, because obviously, Avaricum is kind of at risk. There is a garrison there, it is kind of ready to defend itself, but it's nowhere near as able to do anything. Um, if I keep my na if I keep my army units back, those navy units might be forced to land its troops. I'm not gonna lie, this particular game is beginning to frustrate me more because of stupid politics than anything. I'm not much of a politician. It's more of a case of, can I build an army? Yes. Can I lead my army to victory? Yes. Then let me do that. Okay, unlike usual deployments, I am going to deploy from way back over here for two reasons. One, because I have a feeling these guys are probably going to start attacking me from a large distance, and if I can get away with not being close to the settlement, that'll be good. Right, you guys chill over here. You guys form up over here. Spear units will form up aggressively here and here and you guys can form up behind and these two cavalry units can just chill. Ba boom. There's no wall in the world that can keep us out. No man whose bravery matches ours. No swords sharper, no spears keener. No gods as unforgiving as ours. So, we will conquer here. <laughs> okay, so the hope is by... So here's the hope. By force... by deploying around here, we force these guys to deploy. Right, because they won't have the range to attack here. So we force these guys to maybe have to come and land and secure beachheads. Whilst we then defend this area. That's the rough plan. They are explosive now. Oh, they are. Oops. I still think that's cool. Right, we'll go flaming round because it is obviously a lot more effective. Who's in range? Right, target them. Rapid fire, you'll do whatever. Ooh, good hit, good hit. That's a good, like, 20 units gone. Ooh, good hit again. The enemy approaches. It's a lot of cavalry, but again... 
Getting some free kills. That's nice. I'm liking that. And it's hitting their general. Even better. We can kill their general, then Bob's your uncle sorted. Ooh, this is going to be good. Better on the right side than on the left. Ooh, good hits. Right, you guys form up ready to launch whatever kind of attack that way. There's their general's unit camped up in the base there. Not entirely surprised, so that must be... Oh yeah, because they've got a large garrison force as well, so it's like a case of whatever's. Right, you guys, I'm going to form up slightly more aggressively here. You guys will form up aggressively here. You guys will form up more aggressively here. Uh, you two can form up here. And now we've got a nice little buffer zone in case those fucking cavalry decide to come along. You, 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 and you go to heavy shot. Did he say game of Rome? Yeah, you are not getting through that. Run. Warm up shield wall. This is going to suck. Oh. Right. Cannons. Focus your fire on that lovely clump. Camel warriors, eh? Let's go slow down. Ah, camel warriors. With some badasses on them. Who'da thunk? Right, you guys. Get out of normal mode. Go to that mode. You two form up to potentially repel any kind of assault. I don't know how camels um, would fare against... Uh, would fare against my normal infantry, but I'm going to assume okay-ish. Attack that. Rapid fire on that. Ooh, good hits. Liking that. Good job. Right. I don't even know how the spearmen are going to fare against camels, but we're going to send uh, these guys as reinforcements to try and neutralize them. I'm really hoping that they're not in range. Because that would suck so much. Ooh. Oh, a little bit too, a little bit too, a little too, too. Oh god, this is going to do some nice damage. Yeesh! Right, concentrate on the Legio Cometer Census there. Looks like my plan worked. Even the catapult ones have to get out. Fan fucking tastic. Right, I'm gonna do that from now on. Be precise in your actions. And you guys have taken some attrition, which is not good. Right, you engage. You two, uh, you two engage. You guys regroup over there. Cavalry! Concentrate fire on these guys first. You guys now can leave the battlefield because we take care of those cavalry. I'm going to assume those cavalry have been taken care of. Right, you guys reform. A general is being attacked. Keep him alive. Pincer into them. You, you, and you. I want you to form up aggressively over here. You double time that speed and start shooting. You form into them. You two get ready to go and begin firing on that Legio Cometer Sensor second wave. You guys, I will need you to form up aggressively over here. You can begin going that way with that. You guys can regroup. To help defend against whatever kind of counter-attack these wankers may decide to do. Archers normally can go... Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, you're doing your arm... Ah, uh, cutie. Ceasefire. 
Right, you guys... On them. Rapid fire, go. I mean, they're not going to do anything, but still. There you go. Didn't. Nice. Alistarie, reform. You guys engage those dudes. You guys move up to provide cover. You, you, you. And like, yeah. Reform over there to help prepare for the attack on those guys. Right, you guys need to pull out. Because that's the general's unit. Right, you want to pull out that one, I'd say. Fire on them. Actually, no. Focus on them. Ooh, good shooting, though. Relocate. Reload ammunition. Concentrate on that. Rapid reload. This is what really I love about the warband. This is why the Warband is amazing, because they are kind of a sacrificial unit. Not going to lie, they are not going to be, they are not designed to be a, oh, we need you to stay alive kind of thing. But at the same time, for a unit that basically can just get in there, mash up stuff, love that. I love that. Well fucking done, you guys. Yeah, keep shooting that. That's fucking beautiful. Then you guys can relocate. You guys can reform aggressively here. Actually, you spearmen. What are you over there? You guys over here. You begin to attack. You form up to the right. You form up to the right. You in there. You in there. You, you and you and you form up here to receive an attack. You, you two. Warm up here to deal with whatever. Catapults. Fire at that if you can. You got 47 seconds till that works. A unit's ammunition is spent and it can no longer fire. Don't let those guys out flank. You swing around to the right. You two as well. Reform to engage. You can concentrate on knocking them wankers out. You're fine. You are keeping the attention of those dudes. You attack them. Yeah! Their general is dead. A lethal blow. And you can just go against those legion coming to ten says whilst my cavalry just fuck around. I will not lie, these Legio Spartane are a fucking amazing. I cannot tell you how much these Spar Legio, Spar Legio Spartane... You know, whilst I was even preparing for this episode, um, I kind of had a sort of thought bubble in my head, which, you know... Ooh, good shooting cannons! Oh. The battle is turning in our favor. One, two... Actually, no, you focus on that. You and you... Yep, that's the day done. I am going to assume. Yes. Right, glorious charge. And yeah, that's the day done. Sweet. That's like 3k lost out of them. That's nice. And we only suffered 3 4 casualties. That's nice. Um, yeah, no, basically I contemplated the concept of, um, of you know, the old... Because uh, when I originally did the Spartan campaign, 
there was when the whole when the campaign unfortunately failed due to um, the mods and updating. Um, I said, you know, in a in a pit of frustration, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a faction. We're gonna have a Sparta wins anyway uh, battle, where hypothetically speaking, um, Sparta launched an attack, uh, resulting in. I need to disband an army or two soon. Um, right, let's save. Sparta. Because we've done some good. Um, where basically Sparta invades um, Alexandria. Because originally the whole point of this campaign was to go from the north. Original, like the original, original campaign with Swabia. Was to basically fight a campaign where I go from the north to the south. And in the process of doing that, I... Oh, this is a high ranking general as well. This is good. Um, in the process of doing that, I basically, um, what I might do is I might set up on the beach, because if all those guys are on the ga are in the navy, I can use my ca my catapults to one-shot their ships, resulting in a lot of those guys going down to the bush, or bottom of the ocean. Right, let's set the catapults up accordingly. Okay, so, you guys, flaming bound, you're not going to shoot until I tell you to, you go that way. I want archers having standard shot defending the catapults and that way I want spearmen on the beaches watching them because beaches four of these guys will watch the archers over here four of them will act as kind of reactionary forces cavalry uh, well, you can basically do the same thing, being a reactionary cav, and you, and you, can react over here. Ba-boom. Oh, shit. Now. Rapid reaction fire. Right, I don't know how close they need to be, but I just think one. Oh my god. The enemy draws near. Like, alright, it's got a... Look at how fucked that ship is. You take on that next. Come on, one solid hit, which I think that is. Boom! And there goes a the general. Uh, you, no, you need to target different people. You target different people. Oh, God damn it! You're, like, so close to fire. It's ridiculous. Nope, too late. Right, that's them gone. And you. The enemy is going for our general. Protect him. Right, you engage that. You engage that. You've already done your bit. You move to engage that. You engage that. You yeah, you're engaging that. You need to engage that. You, you, engage that. You two, uh, you need to move up left on the beach. You need to move up left on the beach. You, you, you and you need you to form up aggressively. You uh, go back to standard. You two will form up aggressively here. You could have gone to the top there, but that's fine. Uh, actually, you know what you could do is go that way. You two... Could deal with taking out ca their cavalry. I feel like being a bit of an ass to those ships. Concentrate fire on them. You deal with that. Right, let's see how this goes. Because we've still got a garrison force to deal with here. It's not like they have it, there isn't any garrison forces at all. Just 
kill those fucking ships. That would be great. Right, you two. Great job. Deal with those now. The enemy has found our concealed Shit. units. Right, one ship's being sunk. What's left is going to get sunk in a second. Almost. Almost. Oh, good. Good job. That's actually pretty fucking awesome. Our troops are being ambushed. Right, we need to cripple and win this battle on the left. So then I can dispatch these guys. Alright, are they all gone? Good. Right, catapults. Relocate to a somewhat safer location. You engage that. You engage that. Uh, you guys withdraw so they don't get free shots. Palastarie withdraw. You withdraw as well. Fuck off. You know what? Fuck it. You engage them. Alright, now the problem is they've broken through the middle line. No. Sacrifice. Keep them busy. Catapults. Get the Steam out those. Run. Right, we kill that fucking unit over there. Then we can win. Right, you. You. Engage them. You. Engage them. Actually, no. You. Withdraw. 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 Right, they've been taken care of, which is fantastic. I need you to ram charge them. Where's my general? There's my general. Get in combat, you guys withdraw over there. Really? Fuck, it's a, pr it's a protectors group. The people they didn't get quite enough time to kill. You, murderize. You, murderize. You, get the fuck out of there. Right, what's left is now their archer core, which is fine because it's going to do well. You need to fall back and engage those dudes. You two, rape. Double time it. Come on, fucking break already. Once we take care of this, no more problem. Right, archers, pull back. There we go. Forces them off the forces them on the defensive, which is what we need. Uh, you on them. You are engaging them. Good. Uh, those guys have almost routed, which would be nice. Uh, who are you shooting? Oh, yes, that wouldn't actually be a bad idea. Right, you guys over there now. Who's, who's taking casualties? You are taking casualties. That's not good. Right, they're gone. Engage. Finally, Jesus Christ. You over there now. Right, they're gone. Good. You saw a ceasefire. He's fine on them. Get engaging on them. You engage. You engage. Diamond up. Actually, no, never mind. Just, just keep going. Yeah. So the the raiders in towns and stuff got obliterated in the pre in like uh, previous few battles, but the in open areas like this they seem to do they seem to do just as well if not slightly just as well as their normal raiding guys okay we suffered a bit more casualties than intended um my primarily on the archer frontier and we did suffer a couple of casualties on the melee forces unfortunately they deployed their fucking ships pretty much right next to the point which is a good idea we did kill also their general which is a level seven general so that's two provinces now gone, and a high-ranking officer gone as well from the Gauls. And what appears to be the last of their trading value, which is another good reason to not do this. Right, now comes the biggest problem. Will the Romans accept peace? Speak your terms. Give words plentiful haste. Other business calls this day. Right, here is the problem. 
We've pissed the Romans off. Speak quickly. Do and we can't offer trade. We, well, we can't offer trade. We can't offer any kind of terms of Speak peace to the Romans. Because we haven't fucked them royally enough. Like, we've fucked them, but we haven't fucked them enough. What's the garrison at Ajax? Big. Might as well, you could have... Uh, we're probably needing... We're going to go watch Narbo now, which isn't a bad idea. Narbo then... Um, I was trying to fix that then, at least. Destroy that. Okay, Narbo's going to have a garrison then. It won't have a it won't have that big garrison, because it won't, like, you know... Well, actually, it's got its own military garrison as well, so... Or naval military Ready garrison. Um... <sighs> Yeah, we needed to. We need that was the assault. I hope, I hoped, would break them. Avaricum, how are you doing, Avaricum? You actually have a garrison. You, on the other hand, don't. You're gonna have to go for that. Sucks balls, but that's all we got. We're on the edge. We are literally just cracking through on the edge. Um, no, we got no choice. We're gonna have to pull them back. You've already pulled back as much as you can do. You need to do something. You need to do something. Because, obviously... You... Yeah. <laughs> right, who are you? Unsuitable. We need people in the family more now. You know, who's in command of Infectores? I think I gave it to him, but I don't think I've actually... Thinking about it, I probably shouldn't do. Uh, can she do anything? Okay, who's in command of Egfort Doris? Flavius Priscus. Okay, so let's have a look. Flavius Priscus. Uh, where is he? There he is. Right, so you... Can I just kick him out? General... Boot him out. I have to get a new. I can't select a new dude. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, for the time being, this guy's this guy will have to do. What's his abilities anyway? Oh, brace. Okay. He's apparently ranked up. No. Oh, I can upgrade him. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, right, he's cavalry. Uh, right, I think the only thing I can really do is just give this guy a certain... Uh, not that one. Um, uh, civic, no. Actually, that said, research rate might as well. Um... He hasn't really got any mercenary units. Well, he has got some, but nothing nowhere near as important. Uh, yes, for the love of God. Actually, no. Yes, no, yeah, that is actually kind of important because he needs as much whatever. Um, that wouldn't be too bad as well. Because he can then keep the costs down a bit. We are getting some money back. I think it's kind of a fluctuating situation at the moment. Though my control is... <laughs> Flavianus, who has now gone to uh, gather support. They need to provide a decent family. Right, I'm going to go with one more turn. I have a feeling these Roman armies are going to attack Avaricum, which isn't entirely surprising. Um, but with Tyronum not having any kind of backup whatsoever, and with these two British armies on the verge of attacking... Any garrisoned position is there. We have gotten Romanicus now. Um, and we do have a garrison with a somewhat decent navy. So in about a few turns, I can then start sending something. I might try and get a harassment army going. I can't afford it. Oh boy, this game's kicking me at the moment. I, 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 well, we've achieved an objective, which is we have attacked. And we need to break the Gauls forces in the north now. We just need to get some... Uh, an amount of reconnaissance to see. Well, what I could do is send this army up. How many turns would it take you? I'm marching. Okay. Well, 
Well, in the next turn, we can then react to whatever, but I want to try and... We hunger for right, you're defending Vienna. Not that you need to, but now that we've got Narbo, that's okay. You could move on in the next... Excuse me, next turn to attack this army if they are still want, still retaining there. Or you can go for a loser, which I don't know. I might send my agent to go spying on that there, actually. If a loser has a garrison, or much of a garrison. He does have a garrison, but it's nowhere near as big as other garrisons, which is nice. It is a river crossing, though, so I don't know how much movement points you'd need. But if we can take that, that's another couple of settlements away from the from the Gaulians, and then hopefully we can yeah begin to start something. So we'll save and have um, that. But yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Unfortunately, I think we're at that point in the campaign now where we just need to start. Um, at least he's loyal. Um, we're just gonna have to start seriously considering. Oh, that would be lovely. Uh, anything for growth? Yes. Um, you need to have uh, that because food. You are a new one, not quite right. But you're loyal as fuck, so I will. You're a governor. You're a governor. You should really have. Uh, you should be a commander. We need commanders in that sort of thing. Right here we go. Right. Boom. And we did. And we did some good jobs. Like. It's just, unfortunately, the fucking Western Roman Empire is wearing us down a bit, which is not good. Oh, fuck, I forgot to take them off that bird. That's fine. Not really a, not really a big threat. Oh, I just, want, I just want the Romans to fucking go away now. Oh, boy. I think if we could force a peace with the Romans like we did earlier, um, that would be good. But I don't think... The problem is, I don't think we've beaten the Romans hard enough. If that makes any sense. Like... Yeah, they're shoring up the defences. Gaul is... Looking like they're setting up a front line around their settlement capital of, um... It, there they go. Spania. Figured they'd go for Avaricum. Yeah, they're, they're gonna attack Avaricum. Kinda figured as much. They're the kind of scumbags who would go for such a thing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose this one. I'm not, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> Decisive defeat, yeah, I forget as much. Are you going to attack it? No, you're just going to sack it. That's fine. I mean, it's not great, but, you know, if the Romans are probably going to make a move on it again, are they or are they not? It's been a while since we lost a battle, so I suppose it's fair enough. I mean, it's a scumbag battle, and I realized, I knew that by moving army units out of, um, um, I knew that moving units in and around that area would result in them making a move like that, but unfortunately... I, I gambled that if by making... I gambled that um, making an aggressive move like going for uh, Narbo and um, the northern province, Cherbourg, I hoped I could like beat them enough to put them in submission like last time where we won and we were able to fight them off. Oh, no, they don't. They're going for Narbo straight after I take it as well. This is good because I'd like to drain Rome of their uh, precious armies. Ooh, I like this. This is good. Now, this is good. This is good. I'm I'm actually happy about this, because I've got a garrison and a garrison navy. And I could totally do with taking those Roman armies down a notch. We just now need to deal with... Uh Right, so, Mr. X Workforce, what a surprise. Uh, Vienna, not good. Not good, not good, good, not good, not good. Oh, uh, good. Oh, no, that wasn't good, no. Um, 
increased warrioriness. Of course. Of fucking course. Rebellion imminent. Everything is just... Whatever it takes. Yes. Whatever it takes. Hey! Hey! We've got that now. Right, repair. Repair. I can't fix that because there's too much cash. Um, where's the rebellion imminent? Where is Rebellion Imminent? Aquilinta, where is that? Oh, that's over there. Oh, it's because of a Varicum. Yeah, no, that's not really a surprise. Um, there's nothing in Tyronium at the moment. Well, there is. There's like two or three dudes. Um, right. Well, there you go, guys. So, in the next episode, we're going to attack this, which is... Force March. Force March, Force March, Force March. Normal. This is glorious. This is exactly what I need. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to attack with uh, these guys, though, because that will be garrison. That's fine. They're going to have to attack me because I've got a better artillery, which is great. Um, you, nothing wrong with you. And you get to defend Avaricum. Yeah, you defend Avaricum. Which now means that's safe from a counterattack. We are going to have to suffer from destruction. God. Um, they're replenishing because of the attack. That's understandable. Um, Rotto Magnus, unfortunately, has no garrison of which to speak for a while yet. And, of course, these fucking scumbags have to attack. Well, that said... No, I can't move them, can I? Unless I attack one of them. Because you can attack that, capturing that. But, I mean, if we could dist if we could capture all three of them in the single turn, that's probably what I would have done. Um, but unfortunately, reinforcements. We Do we finally have a bit more control? You've got no influence whatsoever. That's annoying. You need to gather some support. Actually, no, don't gather support. Um, you know what would be nice? Ass assassinating him. <laughs> Damn it. Um... Well, they're the faction... Oh, Regent. Oh, they're they're currently running it. Uh... Really? We need to assassinate her. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, love. You're, you're no longer... Uh, you're no longer an important figurehead. You would probably be... I assume they're getting... Oh, no, that's fine. They're adopted. Yeah. Um... Let's have a look. You, no, you, no, you can't. Well, no, no one can do anything. Oh, God. Current Dominion, 12%. 28%. Well, it's not as bad as it could be. If we can just swap families around. That would be nice. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. Um, first of all, we're going to auto-resolve this army out of existence. Fuck you. Oh, this is the army that can do night attacks. Advance. At your command. You Agent Andy. abilities. Uh, call to arms and go for that. Increase the zeal. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move up our forces. going to deal with that. War weariness is now back at zero, which is great, which means we don't have to worry about that being a problem, which is good. Avarikum is going to have a rebellion. We're going to deal with that in a second. Uh, in the next episode, what I'm going to try and do is we're going to basically... I'm going to get some of my dudes to attack these armies. So you will attack him. You will attack him. Um, depending on how much movement range you've got. I don't know if you have enough movement range. Uh, you can't attack that guy this turn, unfortunately, because he's on the other side of a river. So you're going to have to stay there, unfortunately. But you can attack him. And as he's a very big British force, um, he's also completely shite on... on um, you know what, you guys hinder. Misdirect the fucking army, if you can. Oh, fuck yes. That's even better than I hoped. Right, so this army cannot move at all. Or at least, not even by a little bit. Oh, that's awesome. That, that, that's really good. Um, increase that as well. 
Oh yeah, you can still rank up. Uh, what's that? Coercion. Oh no. We're in stores. That'll probably be. Yay! Right, cool. Your you're rich. you're still doing. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll be attacking that army with the gods of war. Um, you guys are just going to keep busy and watching over that. We're also going to be fighting these guys, which if we can kill all four of these Roman armies, or do enough level of damage to them to severely weaken them, then what I might do, um, to try and, like, get some form of peace is, well, for, for the time being, go for another form of peace. Because if I do that, and I do deal a nice blow, or if I can try and move to attack another nation, I don't know if I can... I don't know, it's really odd. It's really tricky, actually. Um, but anyway, that's about it from me, because I've been blabbering. I will catch you guys next time. This is Miss Jager, signing out.